Hello, my reader friends. Welcome back to Story Time. Today, I have a fantastic video, which is called "Too Many Carrots" by Katie Hudson. But before we get started, please subscribe for more fantastic videos. Happy Easter, and let's get started. Oh my goodness! Carrots, 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 carrots. A carrots! I love carrots. Oh my goodness! Trophies for carrots. A cushion with carrots. Oh my gosh! Carrot trophy. Wow! Carrot to do. Eat carrots. Plant carrots. Collect carrots. Eat carrots. Oh my gosh! A carrot lamp. Keep calm and carrot on. Property of rabbit. Carrot. 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 I love carrot. <laughs> So much carrots, no bunny, no trespassing. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went, woods and the river. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. He couldn't sleep. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe it's a little too snug or too, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. Uh oh, oh dear! Ouch! Bonk, bonk, bonk! Ah! Crash! Oh dear! Uh, perhaps we could stay in Bert's nest," said Rabbit. Now Tortoise has to have a cast. My nest is quite small," Rabbit said. "Bird, I'm sure we will all fit." Rabbit hauled all his carrots up and up the tree. Oh wow, he's really a carrot fan. Whoa! Groaned Tora, as Bird and the branch wobbled and swayed, and snapped. Crash! I'm so sorry, Bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep. Said Rabbit, "You can sleep in my house." Offered Squirrel. "Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you!" Said Rabbit. "Oh, the tortoise and the bird. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit. Just a few more." Rabbit replied. "Uh oh!" Whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel. Creak. Crack, crash! Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep," grumbled Squirrel. "You can sleep at my house," called Beaver. "Has plenty of space." "Great! I can bring even more carrots," Rabbit said with a smile. All the, the three of the friends are angry, except for the Beaver. He doesn't know what's coming. But with all your carrots, we can't. Fit inside," said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then, the rain started. Tortoise shivered. Bird whimpered. Squirrel squeaked. Crash! And Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no! My house! Oh no! My carrots! cried Rabbit. No! Crash! The friends groaned as they swept up onto the riverbank. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all his carrots and his house. Yeah, that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. Share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting; they were for sharing. 
oh my gosh, there's Bunny, the Beaver, there's a Garrett Juice, Garrett Gate, Garrett, more Garrets. Ah, carrot cupcakes. Uh, is that a carrot croissant? <laughs> More carrot soup. Oh my goodness! I'd get tired of eating carrots, but I do really like carrot soup. Oh my gosh! You would have a stomachache after eating all those carrots, even though they're really good. And sharing made everything better. Snug in a carrot bed. V N. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic story. I'll see you in another video. Happy Easter and keep on reading.